Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my weekly forecast for Monday, May 2nd, 2022. If you like the portal channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here at the bottom. Uh, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. That helps this channel quite a lot. So uh, let's look at the WTI oil first. And as you can see, well, last week was fairly good. We still have uh, this a triangle that we are about to break out to the upside or break to the downside. Um, there are good arguments for this to rally to the upside, and there's also good ar arguments for this uh, basically breaking down quite significantly. In the long term, it will most likely break down significantly due to the fact that the world economy is definitely uh, slowing down. We have China in lockdown, European economy is basically in shambles at this point, and the US economy is not looking uh, that good considering the GDP numbers that came out last week. Uh, Technical leaders also show that this market in the long term and the weekly chart may be turning to the downside. And the reason why I say that is because um, when the world economy slows down, demand basically just gets destroyed and there has not been a world recession where uh, oil hasn't taken a major hit. We can just look at what happened back in 2008. We got this rally all the way up towards $138 per barrel. And only in a matter of a few months, it broke down all the way down to $33.4 a barrel. So this was the last great recession. We'll probably not see something similar to this because this was extremely volatile. But we may see something similar to this, where we have um, a, basically a complete collapse of oil or what we saw back in 2018, um, but probably not what we saw back in 2020, as this was uh, once in, well, basically for the first time in ever where oil basically became negative. But if that were to happen, if we were to break down, then the first uh, resistant... Um, support i was supposed to say is the 50 moving average here which is at the moment at 81.926 and after that we have the 200 moving average which is at the moment at the 59.73 but if we get the uh, a real recession then this is expected to drop towards 30 40 dollars as demand will basically just get completely wiped out to the upside, if the war, uh, war in uh, Eastern Europe continues and escalates, uh, then we may see this uh, break out. And then we'll test yet again 110, we'll test 116, and then way beyond that. Uh, wars are definitely not good for, for, for markets or, or this, and it will certainly have a major effect on the on, uh, on the price of oil as uh, as we have already seen we saw this massive spike when russia uh, invaded ukraine but the world economy uh, that's probably what's going to beat this and um, and uh, demand will basically get wiped out if you look at the macd it is uh, crossing the signal line becoming bearish that's a very negative sign stochastic is also bearish and the rsi is flat at this point and there's a lot of room to the downside we haven't had a major pullback in oil since basically 2001 in October 2001 where we dropped towards the 50 moving average so let's look at natural gas this market has uh, well it has been basically untradeable for uh, the last week last two weeks as every single news that comes out of Russia is kind of fret against the European economy uh, or the gas supply in Europe and therefore we see these massive spikes. There is actually, I don't have precedence for this because it's the time of year when basically the price of oil, natural gas usually falls off a cliff. Uh, but if you look at a MACD, it is kind of topping at this point. So what we may see in the coming few weeks is something similar to this where we basically saw, see this and we'll have a crossing of the MACD around there. So we may take several more weeks before we see um, this drop towards support, which roughly is around this area, first of all, 
which is give or take 5.5 all the way up to six dollars after that we have the 20 simple moving average which is 4.9 the 50 moving average at the 4.5 and then all the way down towards the 200 moving average at three and that is most likely what we're going to see um, going forward if um, if there's not something significant that's going to happen because in both United States and Europe, yeah, demand for natural gas just falls off a cliff this time of year. And it doesn't really matter how much threats there come out of Russia at that point. If nobody is using natural gas, then, then the price will drop. And at the moment, it's still very, very elevated. It's significantly outside of the bullish band. And uh, we are approaching overbought conditions as well. So um, don't see a upside to this other than that short term shocks to the upside due to to um, due to uh, bad news uh, due to the war in in Eastern Europe. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.